Hey guys, it's Heather from Kelva Plan, and I'm here today planning for the week of June 18th through the 24th in my classic happy planner. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these pages off of the discs because, of course, that's how I plan. It is easier off of the discs. And today I'm going to be using this sticker right here from the Seasonal Tiny Sticker Book. This sticker book is available at Joann's and it's the tiny seasonal one. So this is what the cover looks like. And this is probably my favorite sticker ever and I've been hoarding it, but I've decided that I'm going to be good and I'm actually gonna use it. And since it's one sticker, I'm gonna go ahead and tear the page off because I can just go ahead and throw this away once I peel the sticker off. So I'm gonna go ahead. <gasps> Why does it messed up? Oh my goodness, I thought it was messed up for a second. I almost messed it up. So since it's a double box sticker, I am going to place it here on Saturday and Sunday. And I'm gonna layer it just like that. And I'm gonna let that be a starting off point. Now I kind of ripped the sticker. I don't know if you noticed when I was pulling it off. So to fix that, I'm just gonna run some combo tape runner and lay that corner back down. Okay, so I love that sticker. It is so, so cute. I'm seriously obsessed with it. Now, that's really the only sticker that will work from that book because since it's a seasonal book, there's not really a lot that coordinate with it. I really like that one, but it's navy and this is black, so I don't really wanna mix that. Sunshine on my mind, that could be cute and it does have the right colors there. But then it's tied in the sun and I, I'm, I may wanna just stick with floral. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put this sticker book away, which if you wanna know how I made this one with the discs, I'll link that video because I love having that now set up like that. So now I'm going to pull out the Teacher Rule sticker book. This is the one that is the classic size. And I'm starting with this one because I'm I'm just thinking that it could be cute um, to show you guys how I use this sticker book even though I'm not doing a teacher spread. So I'm going to pull these little scallops off and I'm lo looking for colors that kind of go with that sticker there. And I'm thinking it would be cute to also grab the boxes sticker book. And there is some blue over here. So I'm going to grab this blue full box. And I'm going to lay it directly in the box. I know that is not something I normally do. I'm actually going to do it like this. I normally like to angle them and kind of catter-quarter them. But last week I put them all in the box and I actually really liked how it looked. So I may catty corner the washi instead. And I like how that's pulling out the blue that's here in that page. Now I'm thinking it would be cute to do the same thing with one of the coral ones. going to move this sticky note. It's actually two sticky notes. Actually, I don't really like that that's coral. I'm going to put that back and I'm going to see if I have a green one. I think there are green ones. And I think that would do a better job. Of course, I've used the green ones in that one, but don't fear. I have more. Let's see if I've used the green ones in this one. I have. <laughs> I have the long green one, but I don't know that I really want to use the long one. So, I have a third one. You guys, I'm addicted to this sticker book, and it doesn't have enough of the colorful boxes. So, I have a third. So, I'm going to pull off the green one, and then I'm going to put this book back, because I, I have that book separate, because I'm trying not to use it, unless I absolutely need it. Okay, I'm going to put the green one, and then I'm going to pull the pink scallop sticker. Sorry, my dogs are going crazy. Who knows why? And I'm going to put that 
like so to kind of tie in that same look but on another page. So I really like how that turned out. All right. The, I'm trying to see if there's any of these that I need. Nope. I think that summer solstice, is that how you say it? Is next week. And it's pink. So, yeah, it's the 21st. So I'm thinking that that could be cute to grab this green scallop, lay it down like so, and then kind of layer this summer sticker on top. And that just kind of helps to bring in some of those colors that I'm trying to work with. I really like that one, but I don't know, because it's got the purple, it doesn't really. I love that sticker. I need to do a spread with that, but it would be really cute to get a solid black and white stripe sticker to put on this side. I would love that, but there's no telling. I've probably used. Okay, so I'm gonna put this book up. <laughs> the only took the scallops in the summer out of that, but that's okay. I'm wondering, I think that the seasonal one has a black and white stripe. Oh, it's got gold on it. I think it has one though, just a plain it does. It's right there, but I've already used it. This is seasonal number two. That's seasonal number one. I thought I had three. Guys, this is probably a little bit embarrassing how many of these sticker books I have. Okay, so I've already used the plain one, but I do still have that one with the gold. I'm just going to double check that I've already used it out of this book too. Yes, I have. So we're gonna use this one to tie in that black and white stripe. And then I'm, oh, it's short. Okay, so we're gonna turn it this way. I forget that the seasonal ones are shorter. And we're gonna go back to that teacher book now. And we're gonna pull out the coral scallop. Or that could just kind of look like another white stripe. But I also kind of like this. And then, of course, now that I've lined these two up straight, I kind of wish I had lined these up straight, too. But I don't know. I'm just going to leave them. I don't want to risk pulling them up. I really wish I had more stickers that had this floral. So I do. I have this one. This came with the teacher planner that had these covers. And I don't know that I really want the blue that's around it. So I think I'm going to trim this down some. It'll still have some blue, but it won't have as much. Okay, and then it could be cute. I don't know if I want to put it over here. You know what? 
if I cut it, I can't believe I'm about to do this. Eek. Then I could have some peeking out. And maybe that really won't look like a heart as much as just florals peeking out. I don't know. That might have been a mistake, but it's too late now. I already did it. I wonder, ooh, let's pull out the productivity book. That's a good book. We're gonna put the tracker over here because I love it. in the pink hmm maybe if we add in some checklists I'll start to like this a little bit more because right now it's not my favorite you know what I think might help I just had an idea I'm going to go back to the boxes, the colorful boxes, and I'm going to kind of cover up those florals just a little bit so that it doesn't quite look like a heart as much, and plus I could tie in some of these other colors and kind of highlight some things that are happening on those days. So then over here, I could do a blue one. And a coral one. I think I like that. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the productivity book. I'm gonna move the boxes away. The spread is kind of reminding me of last week's spread with like a little bit of difference. I wonder if I should try these hourly strips sometimes. Ooh, I should definitely use one of those get fit ones sometime. That would be good. Oh, I love those double boxes. If I put a double box right here, is that too much? That might be too boxy. I'm thinking about putting a double box. That would be a lot of boxes. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Maybe next time. Use this yellow one to kind of layer. Guys, this isn't my favorite spread. I feel like this looks, I feel like it looks like a hodgepodge of stickers that don't really go together. 
but it is what it is. I need to pay some bills on Wednesday, so I'm going to put this little sticker here. Thursday, I'm keeping my niece Maddie. So I'm going to use this green one that says Happy Plans. And I'm going to layer that right there so that I can notate that I'm watching Maddie that day. And then that may be pretty much it. Put a few icon stickers in a few places. This is not my favorite spread. I feel like it's, I don't know. I just, I'm hoping that once I add the pen to it, that it will make me like it a little bit more, which is typically the case. I usually do like my spreads more once I've added pen to them. So I won't totally give up on this one yet, but it is not my favorite before the pen spread. I feel like it's, I think it's, it's too many colors. I normally pick like two colors and work from that. And this just has so many colors that I'm just having a hard time envisioning what it's gonna look like. So that's okay though. We'll make it work with the pen. So if you wanna see what this looks like after the pen, be sure you're following me on Instagram. And yeah, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.